Hey folks, it's Becca here from the DPM. Communication can really make or break an entire project. So I sat down with experienced PMs to find out what they recommend in order to grow your communication skills and how they do it personally. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have three tips that you can start implementing immediately in your own personal process. Okay, tip number one, if you have communication preferences or needs, be sure to tell your team so that they can get on board. Just because you're a senior project manager does not make you an expert communicator. So by sharing these preferences or needs that you have with your team, you'll be able to improve communication overall, which is the goal, and also help build trust with your team members. I've been talking to a senior level person who is really great at their job, but isn't a great communicator because they themselves need to be communicated with in a certain way. And that, you know, while I say that project managers kind of have to conform to the people that they're talking to in their communication style, that's not possible. And there's some folks who just don't have the tools to be able to pick up on slight nuance and they need to have things spelled out for them a little bit more clearly. The trick is to just say that. No one's gonna judge you for saying like, listen, I'm the type of person who can't necessarily understand when you know there's an, a lot of conversation that's extraneous. If you're clear on what it is that you need to do, it also helps the person you're talking to feel okay saying what they need to do as well. And then, you know, you just, get to a common ground. If you want a resource to help map out all your communication for your next project, we have a communication plan template in DPM membership. You can check it out at the link below. Tip number two, put yourself in uncomfortable situations where communication is needed. This could be an improv class, Toastmasters, or something else along those lines. The main goal is to really stretch yourself in this area of communication. I was at an improv workshop the other night putting myself into uncomfortable situations. If you are doing some public speaking, meaning if you aren't applying to speak at conferences or aren't volunteering to do DPM interviews or looking at places that will put you in situations that you may not be in currently, but you may want to be in in the future. Tip number three is a bit of an uncomfortable one for some, but it's a really good one. Start recording yourself communicating and then watch it back to find problem areas in your communication, whether it's overusing filler words or talking around in circles. I'd also look at getting a mentor or videotaping. I can't stand being videotaped and then having to go back and look at it but I've, I've had it done a fair amount of times and there are still things I do. There may be verbal tics, there may be posture things, there may be facial expressions that I don't realize I'm doing. And by videotaping, that is a impartial tool that allows me to understand what I'm seeing and gives me real-time feedback. Uh, the final point on that is, and this is gonna be evolving over time, but how can AI help out? There's some very intriguing AI tools out there that will listen in on conversations and they'll pick up on filler words. They'll pick up on other interesting things that you may not realize that you're doing that can help you improve your communication. So to recap, tip number one is be transparent with your team about any communication preferences or needs that you might have. Tip number two, put yourself in uncomfortable situations where communication is needed. And tip number three, watch yourself communicating so that you can find any bad habits that you have and start working on them immediately. If you wanna stay in touch with all things project management and learn new things along the way, be sure to sign up for our free weekly newsletter at the link below. Until next time, thanks for watching.